Hey yo, what is up my friends, this is Tim and this is my Charchi Capito complete breakdown along with my current settings and review. First of all, the quality of the case is phenomenal, super heavy duty and reliable. You can see their big logos on it, nicely done. This case is equipped with rubber feet at the bottom of the case and at the back, so I can put it on the shelves however I want. The locking mechanisms have holes to put padlocks for extra safety. Very nice. So I've put everything back to the case and it looks just like when I first got these. Without the t-shirt and the baseball cap, because I'm wearing them, also missing a pair of stickers, which are already on my front base drum skins. Amazing that they've cut some sort of hard foam slash polystyrene thing so that everything has its own spot and nothing is moving at all, both in storing and in transport. Certificate written in Polish, which translates as follow. Certificate proving the possession of a new generation of double pedal, made in Wrocław, Poland. Then there are business cards, oh yeah. Here are the other stickers. Keychain, with a bottle opener, fancy. There's also a drum key which can be attached to the base plate of the pedals by magnets. And we got two spare springs to replace the current ones should I break them, which I believe won't happen in a million years. And a set of Allen keys to help with all the small adjustments. And they also give the strongest velcro in the world to prevent the pedals from sliding away while playing. And here they are, the star of this video, the polished tank. The pedals are made out of aluminum and steel, 100% done by CNC machines so they make and cut everything out of a solid slab, not die cast. They use only the best high quality bearings for the pedals. There are a total of 28 bearings in this double pedal. The pedals are super sturdy and super heavy. In fact, one pedal itself weighs more than my two previous pedals combined. One pedal measures at approximately 36 and a half centimeters or 14.4 inches in length, 14 and a half centimeters or 53 and a quarter inches in width, and 22 centimeters or just below 9 inches in height without the beater. They are longboard pedals and the footboards are extremely smooth and wide I do not have to worry about slipping sideways. As you all notice, the footboard is asymmetrical but just for rough measurement. The playable area measures at around 25 centimeters or just below 10 inches in length and 11.2 centimeters or 4.4 inches in width and they did an amazing job lasering the Charchi Capito logo and my logo on it. Very nice. These are the new lightweight beaters with memory locks. The beater arm measures at 18.5 cm or 7.25 inches in length. The beater itself has a diameter that measures roughly at 3.9 cm or 1.5 inches. Another great feature is the interchangeable beater surface. I can choose between the flat surface or the rounded one with the help of a key. It's unfortunate that I don't have their old beaters, but the old beater weighs 116 grams or 4 ounces, as for this new lightweight beaters weighs 88 grams or 3 ounces without the memory lock. Give or take 25% lighter than the previous one, but still keeping insane attack and punch. And for years I have played with chain drive. As for these, they are direct drive pedals, so instant responses, no more milliseconds delay and no more chain slacks. Both serve as a double pedal but can also be converted into two single pedals as each pedal has individual spring tension mechanism and both pedals are 100% precise and identical in model and feel, but with only these two connection points that are sticking out. These are the spots where the magnetic drum key will sit on. Also, these knobs are to set the spikes that are coming out of the bottom. And the pedal came with some extra holes should I want to attach a trigger without sticky double tapes which can leave residues on the pedal. Like for example this one near the spring tension. It's a dedicated place for the trigger under the brand Pedal Trigger. 
First thing that can be done, same as other pedals, is the spring tension. I need to apply pressure to this block to release the knob, then turn it to my desired tightness, then release the pressure to let it lock into place. There are markers on the side to let me know how tight the spring tension is. Everything in this pedal can be tweaked independently. Take the beater angle for example. By loosening this bolt I can set it to my preferred angle without affecting the other adjustments. There are also markers on the moving part, which is excellent. The footboard height can be changed by loosening this bolt. I can also change it from the direct drive connection by simply taking this screw off and move the pedal up or down, then screwing it back into place. There are three holes for this. And to change the pedal action or the cam action, there are four holes available on the cam. The closer it is to the axis will give quicker response and the further it is will give greater impact. The angle or the tilt of the beater head can be adjusted as well. To make sure the contact point between the beater and the drum head is perfect. Charchi Capito pedal can also adapt to different thickness of bass drum hoops. This is the block where your hoop sits. And this one is the clamp. And both of them can be moved forward or backward by loosening these five with the allen key. As shown in the previous chapter of this video, these two single pedals can also be played as double pedal simply by taking the beater off the other pedal and putting it on the freely spinning mechanism here on the main pedal. Then install the freaking smooth drive shaft. The pedals can be played like this and it will sound just fine. But wait, the slave beater is a little bit off the center, right? There's one final thing to do. To make both beaters play symmetrically, I need to unscrew the hoop block until it's completely off and put it on the other side and screw it back. I also need to move the claw to the other side of the clamp. Now the beaters are perfectly at the same distance from the center and from the edges, both right and left, resulting a more even sound. And it easily converts back into two singles by doing the other way around. How cool is that? I did not expect what was coming, to be honest. I mean, when I opened the box for the first time, I was like, oh my god, what? The feeling was unimaginable. I was beyond impressed. I did not expect the pedals to be so sturdy, so heavy, so solid, and so well built. Well, I've known Copito for a while, so I know that they are heavy, but after finally get to see and feel and play them in real life, like, pfft, 
mind blown, right? They pay really good attention to all the details and they have very high standards for everything to make sure that the pedal is flawless. Manufactured only on individual orders, 100% carried out on CNC machine, using only the best quality and certified anodized aluminum and stainless steel. Assembly by hand, I mean, look at how smooth the pedal is. Top it off with laser engraving their logo and my logo on the footboard. So I love that they really put their time and effort in making these pedals. I really appreciate their craftsmanship and the hard work that they've put in. The engineering is perfect, the way the pedals have infinite adjustability, along with the ability to set everything independently. Micro adjustments are possible as well for like, even beater head can be adjusted. How cool is that? and the ability to adapt to every kind of music metal, rock, jazz, anything everything is possible also the ability to adjust to every kind of hoop on the market acoustic drum kit, electronic kit or even practice pad makes Charchi Capito one of the most if not the most versatile pedal on the planet playing the Charchi Capito I still got a couple fine tunings to do but I've never felt more comfortable and to be honest, they perform really well straight out of the box. I played with default settings, did some tweaks to them a little bit, at least to make them feel the same the way I play on my previous pedals. So if you see my settings change as time goes by, it is because it really takes time to adapt to these new pedals. I'm a heel toe guy with a comfortable tempo range between 180 until 220 BPM. I'm not an extreme metal drummer who plays 250 and beyond. And yet I love how the, uh, the pedals can give me powerful double strokes every time with volume that's able to keep up with normal single strokes. And also playing ankle technique and swiveling on this feels incredible. While I will keep working on my techniques, I will eventually find settings that could benefit all the techniques I would play. The direct drive makes the pedal react instantly to every hit as well. I always used chain drive before, but I also tried playing on direct drive, but the direct drive on these pedals, man, it's something else. Hence no more playing against the pedal, but playing with the pedal, if you know what I mean. I play my Charchi Capito as two single pedals. I tried swapping them around, my body feels no difference at all. This is made possible by the individual spring tension each pedal has and also the amount of bearings that are installed on each pedal. I also tried playing in double pedal mode, same thing, no difference. Doesn't matter how I play them, what matters is they feel fantastic and they feel the same. Now let's talk about the Monolith Company, based in Wrocław, Poland and their service is mwah, excellent. You know when you email a company and they reply you with so many words that you don't understand, right? Not in this case. The replies are very informative and the response are extremely nice. Truly a wonderful service. Władysław and I, we emailed for quite some time talking about how all of this can be realized. I said, hey man, I'm a drummer. I'm currently working on blah blah blah. And I want to switch to the best pedals in the world. And everything he said was, Straight to the point, every questions I ask, he answer them clearly and it feels like we're best friends. So, Władysław, thank you. I am glad to be a part of this family. I am absolutely happy and pleased to play the Charchi Capito pedals and I am proud to become the Charchi Capito artist. For more information or should you guys ever want to get one of these, please go to their website at charchicapito.com. And also, please check their YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook page. Links in the description box down below. Okay, I think we reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it very informative and I hope you guys are doing well. This is Tim, logging out, rock on.